Hey there YouTube, Style Talker here with a brand new video. I know it's been quite a while. I've been out of town two consecutive weekends in a row in the mountains. Um, it's been great, but I'm um, sorry I haven't been able to post much recently. I'm trying to do it as much as I can. So here we go. I have a new video. It's called The Cyril Loadout. And for those of you that don't know who Cyril is or why I named it this, um, Cyril is a character from Archer, and I originally intended to call this a suppressive fire loadout because I, I was just messing around one time and I just ran at people yelling suppressive fire to my friend and shooting at them. And it actually worked out pretty well. So um, And that's what he's known for for doing an Archer. So I'm going to show a clip from that, and then we'll get right into the video. Weapons on stun, fast and hard to the bridge, and remember, these are mutineers. Even if they try to stop pressing All right, so now that that's done, um, this loadout's fairly simple. It's just the DLT-19, the scatter gun, or actually, this is the wrong hand here. Oh well. Um, anyway, it's the DLT-19, the uh, barrage tray, the barrage star card, um, the cooling cell, and the jetpack, and it has the berserker trait on it. I don't know why. I don't know how this clip got in here. That's weird. Um, anyway, I was going on a rampage, I think, right here with the DLT-19. That's why I put it in this one. Um, yeah, but the DLT-19 is pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, my, it's long range and low damage, um, and I prefer more close range, high damage guns. Um, but you know, whatever this gun, this gun does pretty well. Um, it's actually, it makes up for it in its fire rate. So it's pretty fun to use. I like, I enjoy just putting cooling cell on it and going hard with it. But anyway, um, this, this, uh, the gun is pretty good. I like it. Um, the barrage helps a lot and so does the cooling cell and the jetpack is obligatory. Um, I didn't think this, uh, I didn't think this loadout would do as well as it actually did. Um, but when you're actually suppressing people like you, like you normally have to, I guess, with this load, like you're normally doing, um, they often try and take cover and the barrage is a great way to get them out of cover, which I have seen, or to get them in, like to actually kill them while they're behind cover or to get them to move out of it so you can shoot them again. Um, it's actually pretty good. I like using it. Um, it works great for this loadout. You can see I was one of the moments where I was yelling suppressive fire running at someone because I had a data tape and it was pretty crazy. Um, this part was pretty crazy too. I don't know how I finished off these two guys. Um, it was a little weird. Anyway, um, you can see this part, the DLT-19 is pretty long range and the jetpack just helps. I was actually sniping people from the cliff with the help of an infantry turret that I get right here. Um, and, you know, the jetpack is just great for getting into different positions. Needless to say, the jetpack is pretty awesome. Um, and then the cooling cell. The cooling cell is really fun. I enjoy using it with this gun particularly just because you can stand there and mow. By the way, this is one of those particular instances I was talking about with the barrage with this guy standing behind the tree. Um, you just kind of launched across the map, see what happens, got him. Um, that was nice. But uh, the cooling cell with this gun's really, really good. Um, you know, the, this gun has a very, very fast fire rate, and the fact that you'd be able to just sit there without even having to control your bursts really is pretty fun. Um, you do have to kind of control your bursts at long range. At close range, you don't even have to. Um, but at long range, again, it loses accuracy after a sustained burst, so you have to control those bursts a little bit more if you're trying to go long range. If you're just trying to mow down a hero or something, um, you don't really need to do that. It, it works pretty good. Um, it's very, very accurate. Even at close range, you don't really need to aim that much. So that's nice um, about this loadout. And then I chose the Berserker trait because this gun needs a damage boost. With the way, um, with the way it's, it's just so low damage per bullet, it just to me it seemed like it needed one um, and I like I like the berserker trait with it a lot um, for me I never aim personally I don't aim very often so the berserker traits great for me I enjoy it a lot but if you on the uh, contrary there you aim a lot then you will prefer the sharpshooter trait over this and I think that would make it I think that just completes the loadout and makes it great so um, you can see here I got kind of lost in the bushes and just started mowing dudes down. Um, once you get top level damage trait on this gun, it gets it gets really really good. Um, it just it just absolutely demolishes people because it shoots so fast, and each of the individual bullets are doing a lot more damage. Um, and I managed to kill that guy in the blaster cannon right before I died from the secondary fire, which was kind of cool. Um, it's just it's a great loadout. I like it. Um, I've only used it in Scarif, you can see, and on Walker Assault type matches. So that I think that was oh actually I have used it in Heroes and Villains too. But um, I think that gives a good mixture of game modes that you might see. I think Scarif is mostly uh, medium to close range fighting, and it worked great on Scarif as well. You can see you know with the melees and the barrages and just mowing people down worked really great. I liked it a lot. Um, 
It also works really well on Walker Assault, which is another one I use it on. The DLT-19 being a long-range gun helps quite a bit for that. And um, in Heroes and Villains, the loadout does pretty well. The thing about the DLT-19 in Heroes and Villains is that um, you, need, you, ought, you need a lot more time. While the gun is good, you need a lot more time to deal high damage to heroes. Um, a lot of times you'll get you'll hit them with two or three shots, but that won't that doesn't normally do very much damage. So um, you need a lot of time to deal damage to them. So keep that in mind while you're taking on heroes. Um, and if you get up behind them, the cooling cell is just in the they don't know you're there. The cooling cell is just beastly against them. Um, it's it's unreal. And uh, yeah, pretty much you know that's that's the only thing to really watch out for there. Um, it's just this loadout in close close range. It can be a little bit difficult to use. Um, you might have to resort to a melee, or resort to a melee, or something or another to get the job done. Um, but otherwise, it's very, very good, and I like it a lot. Um, I actually, I don't know why. I just really like this loadout for some reason. It's kind of fun to mess around with. You just get to mow constantly with the DLT 19. I think that's really fun. So um, anyway, I hope this gave you another awesome loadout idea, and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and uh, all that and such. Um, thanks for watching. This is Stealth Taco signing off. Shit, they're like taking down bobs right now. Honor guards just suck in general, like, they're not even fun, honestly. I keep forgetting that's even a thing on this map. Oh, shit. Nice, I think I disarmed it. No, you didn't. Oh, or at man. least not in time. No, it wasn't. It was, like, killed. right in front of the... That was freaking out.